you're watching this video because you love hamsters or maybe you're doing some research to learn more about them. I have been a hamster dad for three weeks now. Nice new home for the hamster. He's happy. He's got a wheel instead of a ball. Uh, and he is uh, loving this aquarium. I think you just went back to sleep as I'm, I'm shooting several of these videos back to back. But what I wanted to, to talk about was we have this routine of getting him out every day when we're all home. And, you know, sometimes my son likes to put him in this box, maybe put a treat inside this shoe box and let him rustle around in the tissue paper, you know, something like that. Well, I decided last weekend that I was like, okay, I'm going to, it's time for me to clean out the aquarium, which if you have an aquarium, it's un, you know, this is a disaster. I would definitely say do never use a cage for a hamster, especially like this was way too small. We didn't know that, but it's funny how many things they'll sell at pet stores for hamsters, for uh, a teddy bear Syrian that is actually not good at all for the hamster, like cages like that. An aquarium is, and if you go in the hamster section, you're not going to see aquariums. You have to know, go to the section where the aquariums are, get one at the top, and then put some on top of it. Get a wheel, not a ball. When I say ball, of course, I'm talking about this. This is not a, a good, safe way to exercise for them. I've got a whole other video about that if you need to check that out. But anyway, so we're cleaning out the corner here. I was doing that, re replacing that. And I told my son, I said, hey, I got some fun for you to do. Go to the bathroom and, you know, let, build all your stuff for him to crawl around. And I'll close the door. I already checked. I don't think the hamster can go under the door and, and escape that way. You know, there's, there's, he'll only be on the bathroom floor. So he was in there two minutes before I heard, Daddy, the hamster went in the cabinet. Now, let's take a virtual tour of the bathroom and I'm going to show you exactly what happened. Because, man, hamsters do the darndest things. Hamsters just have those instincts. They're going to be able to find a way to escape. So this is the bathroom that we were in. You know, I, I looked. I was like, huh. I've seen him fit in some small spaces, but with the door shut, that's a little more than my finger. I thought, eh, I don't know so much. And if he was, my son would tell me if he was escaping. So we look here. It's like... There's the bathtub, there's the toilet, but there's really just nothing. I, and I did warn him about this. I was like, well, leave this either open or shut. I don't want him getting smashed. So anyway, we had his shoe boxes and all that running around. Daddy, he went in the cabinet. And I thought, well, if he did, I can get him out of there. It's not a big deal. But it turns out it took the hamster about two minutes to find this. And he crawled up in there. Now, just to be clear, what that, what this hole is. So the cabinets are definitely separate from that panel. This is just a spacer panel. There's no way to open that without just taking all of this off here. So he was up in here. So what I had to do is I had to get like seeds and carrots and put them out right here. And I'd see him pop his nose out because there's nothing in that little cubby, that panel. There's nothing in there at all. So I thought, well, he's got a good sense of smell. So I uh, started putting the carrot up there and I had it up there and then he just snatched it. I was like, oh great, now he's stuck in there with food. Uh, so then what I did is I started going, I thought, well, he's got a good sense of hearing. Maybe I can scare him out. And within a few minutes, and I had the car another carrot. And then once I saw him, he actually was more interested in the seeds. And then I just carefully grabbed him from behind and took him back in here. The lesson learned. You know, it's, it's something that I would love to do is be able to do more free exploring like that because I know that's part of his, his nature. But, but ultimately, uh, we learned the lesson there. I still say it's a miracle of God that, that uh, he wasn't stuck in there for hours. It was more like 15 minutes, but it was like a really long 15 minutes of him. Because I was thinking, what are my options here other than to destroy the cabinet? And I don't know exactly what's in that little panel. And that's from when the house was built five years ago. So could he gnaw through a hole and get up into the attic and we lose him for a long time and then he died? I don't know. I'm just grateful that he escaped. Lesson learned. Still definitely get him out to play. But it's a matter of, as far as letting him roam a, a room, even as small as the bathroom, not so much. When I let my kids play with the hamster, I pretty much am right, right there the whole time ready for 
than just for him to escape and, and do that. So going back to another video, are they, are hamsters a good uh, animal for pets? You have to keep that in mind too. You, you have to be quick enough to catch up with them. So you got comments, you got stories. I'd love to hear from you. Your comment may inspire another video here for this series, Hamster Dad. Comments belong right here.